thank you for joining the California Department of Insurance for today's workshop discussion regarding catastrophe modeling and insurance. The purpose of this discussion is to provide all interested stakeholders an opportunity to present statements or comments regarding the contemplated regulations. We will now open this conversation up to the public and hear from those who wish to provide comments. The first speaker will be Carl Sussman. Thank you, Deputy Commissioner, uh, Department of Insurance, and Commissioner Lara for having this hearing. My name is Carl Sussman. I'm a California native, born and raised. I work as an insurance broker, insurance expert witness, and host the only syndicated talk radio show in California focusing on consumers and insurance. Uh, I think we can skip over the obvious. We know why we're here. The California insurance marketplace is currently in shambles. Insurers are non-renewing policies, not offering policies, and leaving the state altogether. Most of them claim the reasons for taking these actions are due to the regulatory environment that currently exists. Today, we're talking about catastrophe modeling. Catastrophe modeling provides detailed risk assessments based on historical data, scientific principles, and advanced analytics, which all combined is the best of the best. All the data, all the science, just the facts, fair, non-discriminatory. By better understanding the potential losses, insurers can maintain appropriate reserves necessary to pay for expected claims, ensuring stability and solvency. No point in letting an insurer sell insurance if they can't plan and pay for the claims that are coming. As consumers or an entire community, we get the advantage of all of this big data and can be told if an area that we are in is a higher risk than we thought. We can then take that information, take the necessary steps to try and reduce our exposure. This could lead to less losses, which is good for us as consumers, less claims, which is good for the insurance companies, which equates to lower premiums, which is good for everybody. Now, let me explain how the insurance industry works. Insurers would love nothing more than for you to never have a claim, really. So if they have information that they can provide to consumers to assist them in creating an environment where less claims happen, you can be sure they're going to provide that information and provide it loud and clear. Lastly, I just want to address briefly what I'm sure you are hearing about regarding catastrophe modeling, the infamous black box underwriting. To help you understand, I want to just play a quick game. Everyone take an imaginary shot glass and hold it up. Anytime you hear someone use the phrase black box underwriting, take a shot. And why is simply because it's a farce. It's a lie. It literally, literally does not exist in the proposed legislation from the insurance commissioner. If you actually take the time and read the text of the proposed regulations as I have, you'll see that every single solitary bit of information that an insurance company utilizes in underwriting and rate making, including any modeling, catastrophe modeling, and any other, must be provided to the Department of Insurance and the insurance commissioner. That's not my opinion, that's just what's in the regulations. Go read it if you don't believe me. What the regulation does not do is insist that an insurance company makes their proprietary data available to the general public and by extension, their competition. And that's fine. We elect an insurance commissioner who does get access to all of that data and all of that modeling, and they're going to look out for us. And if we don't like what the insurance commissioner is doing, we can take that up at the ballot box. Look, we, we don't know the formula for Coca-Cola. Coke doesn't have to tell the public or Pepsi what the formula is, but we have the FDA, people who do have the formula, who are tasked with being sure we aren't drinking poison, arguably. This is how it's done. We never give it a second thought. Lastly, let me just leave you with this. I appreciate you giving me the time to talk and, and just remember that keep, you should keep the imaginary shot glass handy because you might notice that the people that are using that phrase, the red uh, black box underwriting are oddly connected to the same people who created these laws and put us in this insurance crisis to begin with. Thank you. Thank you. 